is all my most of my Hornet and Wasp nests in my collection here. It's a very large bald face Hornet nest. Probably the biggest one in my collection. This baby measures 20 inches long, 42 inches in circumference, and 14 inches in diameter. This sucker is huge. Another bald face Hornet nest. This one was attached to a cedar tree in the front of our property. Right in the very front hill, we're close to the house. This big area of the bottom was from when a weather tore it up. And this was caused by a bird. You can see a little bit of the comb in that one too. This is an aerial yellow jacket's nest. A couple of ball face hornet queen starter nests. This is my favorite because it's got a long tube on the bottom. In some cases this thing can be over a foot long. And this is my 1999 trophy nest. This is one of my favorites. I found this in Shawnee State Forest about 11 years ago. And while I was in the car, this thing, I actually had one come climb up out of the nest. I'm not my sure. And I said, that's it. Uh, we're putting this in the trunk. This one's got some neat patterns on the outside you can see here. This part of the nest looks like the painted desert because the patterns. Another ball face hornet nest. Another ball face hornet's nest. Another one. I got a lot of these. This here is a bumblebee's nest. It's a dumb beekeeper. I got quite a few of these laying around. Honeycombs. This is a ball face hornet nest opened up. Here you can see the how the how the combs are built. There's three combs. There's the inside of the envelope. There's another one we found a property right here. Same year, the 99 trophy nest. This one was retrieved with a shotgun blast. There's another nest off our property. This one's probably the most colorful one in my collection. Don't know if I can get to show, but you can see some greens and brown stripes in this nest. The bird's got this one too, and you can see Again, like the other one, you can see the combs inside. A teacher gave me this nest here. And a relative and family got me this nest here. There's another one I like a lot here. This one's got a real tall pinnacle, like a roof cone on it. I'm not sure what the purpose for it's for, but I think it's probably to shed water or something. This has got a neat pattern on the side too. It's amazing the way you build these nests. These here are some uh, wasp paper wasp nests I have. Got quite a few of these. This is a really neat one. I like the because this one here is built on a piece of screen down the hall. I actually watch this nest from start to finish. Oops. This is a large European paper wasp nest I found at work. It's actually not one. It's actually two nests stuck together end to end. But when I measure this thing, it's over a foot long easily. And you can see right here, this end is flared and it looks like a boot for that reason. Here's another European paper wasp nest, but this one here is real long and skinny. That's because it's between a sign and a sheet metal building. There's another very large nest. This one here is almost the size of a saucer. You can see my hand, you see how big that is. It's a very large nest. There's no telling how many wasps could inhabit this nest at any time. Here's some of the nests I got from Tennessee. This one's for behind our shutter. It's a strange shape. There's pretty much all of them in here together. Got a whole lot of these things. Yeah, 
another ball face hornet nest from brother's friend's house. From here, looks kind of sort of like a tornado. There's a little potter wasp nest on a piece of tree bark. I have a few of these mud nests, but not many. I got a mud diver up nest upstairs that's got a on a light bulb. I didn't even think to bring it down. Should have brought it, but. Please feel free to comment and enjoy this video. Signing off.